Hey guys, what is up? It's Megan, and today I'm talking about my first few days at a brand new school, and let me tell you that they have been a journey. So I have been a sophomore at my new school. It's a public high school. I used to go to a private school for some of you that don't know, and really I've been there for a week. I started last Thursday and I went Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, and this Wednesday, Wednesday when I am filming this. And it's pretty late at night. That's why my makeup is like falling off and my braid is about to explode. So I am going to start with Thursday. Thursday was a day. It was a uh, it was a day. And then Thursday is I was brand new, just starting out off a new school just all fumbling around trying to figure out where I go I had have I had to have my friend's boyfriend's friend help me to my home room which is their AA something advisory something but once I got there I just kind of sat down sit, sat in the corner and like I wasn't on any of the teachers schedules I wasn't in any of their like class roles so I had to show every single teacher and I'll get to uh, what I accidentally did during one of those. But I get there, blah, blah, blah. Some people are just like, it's a new girl. I am a sophomore, not just like a little, little freshman that doesn't know what she's doing, even though I am a sophomore that doesn't know what she's doing. And you know, people say, hi, what's your name? And I'm all freaked out because my last name is Cox, C-O-X. And like everyone just kind of looks at me weird when I say my name. It's like, yeah, I'm Megan Cox. Nice to meet ya. And if you haven't seen my video where I get ready for school plus two DIYs, you should definitely go check that out. It was my previous video on this channel. That day until my last block, which was gym, it went smoothly, kind of. I had to have help to every class. I got lost so much. I was late and everything was hectic. This is probably one of the most embarrassing things that I could have done on a new school year, a new school period, and first day of school. So, like I said, I wasn't on anyone's roll list. So I was sitting on the bleachers, minding my own beeswax, and then the guy that I forgot to show my like advice the my schedule to, he was like just sitting there tolling out people's names, and he's like, if I didn't call your name come up and hand me your paper. So, the smart human I am, I wore heels that day. And so, as I was waddling down the bleacher stairs, so like the bleacher stairs, they have like these non-slip, like sandpaper type feeling things, like just strips. And I was walking down them, I went bam and face planted in front of the entire gym class, which were two classes smashed together to create about 80 people like that whole gym was full and they saw me face plant face plant and at least i didn't really know anyone besides a few ninth graders i finished volley everyone went Ooh. <laughs> and so i got up and said well that was fun and I started laughing and I kept walking and then, uh, you know, yeah, everyone started laughing with me, I guess. And then I, as I'm walking back up the stairs after I showed the guy my advisory, um, some people were like, oh, somebody watched that girl. She's going to fall again. I'm just like, yeah, I know I am. And then, um, the guy, the coach, what's, whatever his name is, I'm not going to use his real name. Coach Bird, yeah, he'll be Coach Bird because it's close. So Coach Bird was like, okay, he went over like the dress code and then he was talking about our shoes. He was just like, they have to be closed toed, no heels, we saw what happened. And I was like, I haven't worn shorts since I fell down the stairs because I am so bruised. I am bruised from my ankles up to my shins and then I also have a bruise on my thigh. I have one on my hip where I ran into a like an island in my house it's a real island i just have like an island in the middle of my house now like one of those like counter for things and like it stabbed me in my hip and it really hurts i have a random bruise on my arm i am like so bruised right now i'm surprised I, I, i'm okay i'm alive 
So Friday we didn't do much. Everything went smoothly, I guess. Um, I don't think or remember anything weird happened. Then Monday rolls around. We classes are starting up. We're doing work and stuff is happening now. Everything was kind of going smoothly until gym again. In gym, you won't believe what I did again. I wasn't wearing heels, we were outside. Um, I had tennis shoes on, all in my gym gear, and we started playing sharks and minnows. They categorized sharks and minnows as a warm up. So as we're doing that, someone kind of like, they do like a hard push, like you know how like sometimes you like tap people to get them out? No, this person full on shoved me. So then I like tried to stop myself from falling. Instead, I fell face first again, which gained me the nickname Grace. Now I am beauty, I'm Grace. I fall down on my face. I just made that up. Jim, I am called Grace instead of Megan. So Tuesday rolls around and that's when I truly got the nickname and I didn't know that was my nickname. I had on a like blue California shirt and um, the coach bird, he was just like, come on Grace, you're gonna be it. Because we're playing Sharks and Minnows again as a warm up game. And I was and like, I was just looking around like, who's Grace? And then he was like, you, California blue shirt. I'm just like, oh. So then I walked out, so and then I was Grace. They said <laughs> today was Wednesday and this is probably one of the weirdest experiences in my life. So far, you know, I'm only a sophomore. I was minding my own business, kind of rolling around, looking, because there's this thing called Tiger Time, which is like a study hall, but like you have to like find a classroom to go in. And my homeroom teacher wasn't open for my uh, tiger, tiger time. So, <laughs> where do I get pushed into? A class that is like, doing AP stuff, like AP stuff. And I was like, hi. That's not the craziest part. So after Tiger Time, I have lunch. So I was in lunch, sitting with my friends, like my little group of two people. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, still minding my own beeswax. And then some dude flew out of nowhere and like got all up in my business, like in my face close. And he was just like, are you gay or straight? I'm just like, Whoa, I didn't even know this boy. He just flat out flew in my face. I was like, a straight. And then like he starts to turn around and walk away and he jumps back and I'm and he's like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm very sure. And then um, kind of one of my friends, not Destiny that you guys know, but a different Destiny. Um, she's just like, she's sure. So you need to go away. And then he's like, Oh, so now the ugly friend's talking. And keep in mind, I don't know this boy. And, oh, I was like, like, I was like double chinning. Everyone could see Harold. Harold was out and present. I really am debating on drawing a smiley face on Harold. Put it in the comments if you think I should. Just like wear a smiley face to Harold. So then like whenever I go, Harold. I was like, I don't think you'd see that if I did it on just an everyday basis. Wait, so then he yeah, after he said so now the ugly friends talk she's just like yeah I am and she said that she's sure she's straight so move your fat a along and then he goes what you gonna sit on me or something the girl was totally fine with it like Destiny was like totally fine with it uh, she told me later that she threatens to sit on people all the time so I didn't I thought that that was like a major insult and I was like, oh no, it's right in front of me. But she says, I am going to sit on you if you don't go away. And he just ups and leaves. He like walks away. He goes and tells his little friend group or whatever. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, who wanted to know? He asked me if I was sure. I was kind of like, do I look gay? Do I look bisexual? I didn't want to be rude and like flat out say that. But you won't believe what happens again in gym. But I didn't fall this time, so if you're expecting me to fall again, no, I actually didn't. I about fell, but I didn't. This same guy who like got all up in my face during lunch, he like, so 
for gym, we have separate lines. How I said that there were two gym class, two, two gym classes like put together. So one of them's like Miss Spanish. That's really not her name. She has a different last name. Miss Spanish has her class, and I'm in Mr. Bird's class. So I'm standing in my line about where my last name is, and like he goes through the line, blah blah blah. And then the same guy who uh, not really assaulted me, he like came up to me and jumped in my face during lunch. He comes over and he says, so you're standing alone? I'm just like, my friends are over there. Like she, they're in Miss Spanish's class. So like, I'm just like standing, looking at them from across the gym. And then I'm just like, yes, I am. And then he says, I'm sorry about yelling at you earlier in lunch. I'm just like, you're fine. Because he didn't really yell. He did kind of creep me out. Because he scared me. Because he jumped me for no reason. But he didn't really jump me. But <laughs> sorry for yelling at you in lunch. And I was like, oh, you're fine. And then he said, um, a friend wanted to know. So I came and asked. And I didn't even bother to ask who the friend was. Because personally, I didn't really want to know. I already have a crush. She has a crush! She has a crush! She's not really big into crushes or dating life because you guys know that I'm a single person. Last year's new resolution was to be single all year and I did it. This year is kind of that, but I didn't fully promise myself that I would be single. But I didn't bother asking who his friend was because personally I don't really care. Um, and then he said, I didn't know you were in my gym class. It's like, well, uh, I've been here this entire time. I fell down the bleachers first day. He was like, oh, you're a bleacher girl, Grace. And I was like, wanted some other guy. Like, I swear this guy was trying to match make me and like, I'm dying. He points to some guy and he's like, oh, y'all are in the same boat. And I don't know anyone at this school really. And the guy kind of looks at me like, what? And then uh, the guy, first guy, he was, he was just like, yeah, he fell. Except for he fell in the locker room. And then, like, me and this other guy are just, like, staring at each other, like, Coach Bird saves us and puts us outside. And we had to go, oh, my gosh. We had to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Up seven, I think, there were flight of stairs on. So we went to the football field, and, like, we had to go up and down, up and down, up and down. All the bleachers, stairs. Stairs. And I was just sitting there, like, hold my boob. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. And like, if y'all haven't like watched one of my other videos, I don't even remember what it was called. And like, where one of my legs is longer than the other, like I thought my knees were gonna give out because normally I have to wear a knee brace on my longer one. And like, oh my gosh. But like my knee, I was just walking and then like it almost gave out. That's where I about fell by the way. <laughs> now I'm just going to tell you guys kind of, if you're planning on going to a new school or if you're scared about it, or anything else I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it and like not to be scared I did have a rough start going into it but you know I'm I'm okay one week down uh, a bunch more to go Hopefully, it's not that bad of course I don't know where you are and where you're going but going from a private school to a public school was a very big change. The private school I went to was super small, barely any teachers, 13 people per, per class, and that was only my grade. Like all my ninth grade year, I only had 13 and like sometimes 14 people in my class in general. Now the classes are definitely bigger. There are about 20 to 24 people in all the classes I have been in besides my gym class, which has like a thousand and four. And sure i fell in front of all those people but they laughed it off with me a lot of people are kind sure i don't get talked to a lot normally i'm kind of ignored i kind of sit in the corner and it's okay it's fine to be alone but you know sometimes yes i do know it gets lonely and boring but you know you make it through it's life and when you're going places in the workforce you're going to have people you don't like so you have to suck it up and deal with it. Yeah, sure, I had a pretty rough start. But so far through this one week, I've been fine. So if you're having doubts or like scared to go to a new school, I know how that felt. I cried a lot before even going. I was so scared that no one would like me, no one would accept 
upset me and just how I would get to my classes, how anyone would react to me, if someone would want to try to attack me or anything even though I didn't do anything because sure things make it sound so scary and everything but I think you'll be okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do want another video about school or if you want more of my crazy stories or anything about anything in general, make sure to leave it down in the comments below and I will try to respond to you because I love responding to my comments. So if today was your birthday, happy birthday. My name is ISS Unicorn and I am out.